probably about three inches. Okay, thanks. <laughs> nice and slow. Yeah. Hi, welcome to another episode of David Rides a Trike. I'm David and I'm riding a trike. Short introduction, if this is your first time watching one of my videos, I make videos trying to motivate people with chronic illnesses and disabilities to find some fun form of outdoor exercise because doing so can be therapeutic and doing so is also usually a lot of fun. Personally, I ride this recumbent trike, but riding a regular bike, walking, running, whatever, just getting out and being active a little bit usually helps with any uh, malady. Just make sure your doctor gives the green light that it's okay for you to do so. Personally, I fall into both the chronically ill and disabled categories. I was diagnosed as a type 1 diabetic when I was a year and a half old. I had a pancreas transplant when I was 41 that cured me of diabetes. Sorry, I'm uh, looking for a little trail that I came in on and I don't want to miss it. Um, I've had three organ transplants in total. I had stage 3 cancer a few years ago that was cured with a combination of surgery and chemotherapy. I'm legally blind. I've had all kinds of surgeries and procedures and right now I am fighting stage 4 cancer that has affected my lungs, uh, my liver, my bowel and the musculature of my legs to name just a few places. I was all set to do a video today on five things you need for summer riding. Now it's not summer yet here by any means. We've had a horrible spring, very chilly and lots and lots of rain. And today, as you can see, is a beautiful day. It's in the 50s right now. Tomorrow's going to be in the 60s. And uh, then as it's Chicago, we head straight into summer this whole upcoming week. Today is Saturday, but the whole upcoming week is going to be in the 70s and 80s, even possibly getting up close to 90. So I was going to do a uh, video about things you need for summer riding, but because, as you saw in the opening clip, my trail is very submerged in parts, so I went to go do one of my lesser traveled road routes and I started turning down side streets and going places I've uh, never ridden before. And even though these places are just a few miles from my home, there was no reason for me ever to go down them because they're residential. But I stumbled onto this little section of bike path, which is really nice. It's paved, um, and coming up here, it runs parallel to uh, a somewhat busy road. And uh, 
I just want to talk about how much fun it is to discover bike paths or low traffic roads that you can ride on that you never even knew existed. Now forgive me if I'm a bit hesitant during this video. I haven't prepared anything. I'm just winging it. But you know this whole section I'm riding on when I used to drive I drove down this road all the time and I never knew this path this bike path existed on the side of it. Um, I think it's relatively new over the last few years they built it but it's really great to find something or somewhere you could ride that you never knew existed before. Here, let's, uh, just for the heck of it, head down this road. There's a no outlet sign there. But, you know, exploring, especially on a recumbent trike, is really fun. Um, provided you don't get lost, of course. Sitting in the seat, being able to look straight ahead and out to the side, um, unlike a road bike where your head is down a lot of times, you, know, you just see a lot that is around you. And that's especially nice on a day like this where, as you can see, things are really beginning to bloom and uh, it's just a, a good feeling of changing weather. I'm just looking. I wonder if that's a trail or someone's driveway. Don't know. But it's kind of funny because when I do ride on the roads, I see these side streets all the time. I go, oh, I wonder what's down there. And I never go. And today, I figured I've got nothing else to do. I'm just going to head down there. And again, side note, today was one of those days I really, really, really did not want to ride. I knew it was a beautiful day, but I honestly just felt lousy, really. Uh, I think the chemo, the long-term effects, and when I first came outside, I thought it was kind of chilly. Um, and I thought, okay, I'm just gonna ride enough to do my video and then head back home. And I started riding and as usual, and I, I thought this time, okay, I know usually I feel good once I start riding, but that's not happening this time. But I'm happy to say I'm wrong. You know, it's really hmm, another street that I'm unaware of. Want to go down it? Sure, why not? Um, I don't know where I was. I'm just rambling. That's what this video is. <laughs> um, oh, not wanting to ride. Yeah, it, it, I started riding and the trail, once again, as you saw in that opening clip, was pretty much underwater. So uh, I knew I wasn't going to ride on the trail. And weekends on the uh, got to turn around here uh, weekends on the road are pretty bad really really crowded um, well not so much crowded as you know the traffic is different than during the weekdays on the weekdays it feels like the majority of people who are out drive regularly during the day, during the weekday, 
and they tend to be better drivers. On the weekend, you have a lot of young drivers out, and I don't particularly like riding on the road on the weekends, but today I was forced to, but figured, well, might as well start going down some of these side streets. And it just turned my entire mood around. I've got 15 miles in already. I'll probably end up somewhere around 25, maybe even a little bit more. And I feel really good. Man, there's some beautiful houses. Hang on one second. As you can see, I'll let you uh, have my view for a little while. <clears throat> Continue going down this road that I started down. So yeah, it uh, has turned out to be a really wonderful day. I feel very good now. Feels like one of those days where I could ride for a long, long time and enjoy all of it. There's a comfortable breeze blowing and uh, that feels good. And I'm looking forward though to this coming week with the warm temperatures. This is nice, but I really like the warmth. <clears throat> so, that, hang on, I'm trying to turn this around again. There we go. So, that is about it. What do we have here? Nothing. I'm going to keep heading down these roads that I'm completely unfamiliar with, but as you can tell, have very little to no traffic on them, and enjoy this beautiful day, and I will see you on the next ride. Bye-bye.